Alright guys, so it's time to look at the new distribution of Linux called Black Ubuntu. No, I actually um, haven't really been following Ubuntu at all. Like It's been a very, very long time since I actually just used Ubuntu as a distribution for Linux. Um, I do have one installed already, a machine version machine. It's, uh, it's running, I think it's Snort or something, but Black Ubuntu, a penetration test the distribution Linux so I want to talk about um, do we need this um, what is black Ubuntu and what should we use it for basically so what you see here is me just having it installed thing is when you go to the web page you're gonna put it right here you go ahead and go like download and you can pick from Three different kind of you know uh, basic latest and stable, and I don't really know what's up with the different kind of ones. You know, <clears throat> I took the one called latest, and it says based on Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfish. You know, I, I just gave up. You know, a long time ago, <laughs> even you know figuring out what all these different kind of names is and what they mean. So I don't really want to talk too much about it. But now just checking out the web page itself. There's tools for error solution, great. Community support, okay. Safe test environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is just another, you know, Linux distribution. You know, back in the days we all used Backtrack, Linux Backtrack, which essentially became Linux Kali. Or Kali, how are you gonna say it? Now Black Ubuntu is, I think, you know, if you really like Ubuntu and, and, and what it is, you know, great. But let's just have a look at the tools that's included in this distribution. They do showcase a few of them already, you know. It seems like I can click it. Let's, let's click on the, I cannot. It's just a, a hover thing then. So they did outline a few like in map Wireshark, VPScan Nito, Hydra, Burp Suite, Hashcat, Meltigo, Edacab, Brute Spray, John the River, and you know, other kind of tools. So, going to the to do list, um, tool list, sorry, we see stuff like, you know, libraries, lots of libraries installed, lots of different kind of common tools, Binwalk, Autopsy, Apache 2, Curl. Git, you know, it's it's a huge list. You know, I I think if you're gonna choose between like let's say Linux Kali or Black Ubuntu, if I was a beginner, I would be like I have no idea. So I would literally say that if if you would like to use this distribution, go ahead and, and do it. You know, it, it, it's probably fine. You even have cool keel whatever. But the tools you need is already in Linux Kali, and I'm. Not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna say to this. I have it installed, never tried it before. I created a user called Daniel, and that's about it. So let's, uh, you know, just going through this list. I don't really does it really do anything for us. I'm not really sure. You know, just a list. It's a it's a pen testing, you know, distribution of Linux. It, it's it's made in Ubuntu uh, type and it's free and you can use it and all that good stuff anyways this is how it looks um, keep your files let me just not look at that at the moment so we like the interface we like the we like the image it's black we've got this guy in the middle here we have a home folder down below it's running quite okay you know I, I distributed four gigabytes of RAM and four CPUs and the structure reminds me very much of Linux Kali because it's Linux. <laughs> and we have the typical, you know. Okay, so it makes a sound, you know. Everything seems fine. We have Wire Connect, so I could probably open a browser. And uh, we have uh, Thor right here as a browser. Tor, Tor, whatever. A bit slow on opening the. Uh, the, the the, the tab here, you know, hovering the window around runs pretty smooth, I would say. So let's go to try hack me just to do that for now. 
Swagger.com. Let's uh, just make the window as large as we can get it. And let's say, let's log in. And then let's do a login here. I have no idea. There we have it. So. Uh, was I too fast? Might have been too fast. So we locked in now. We're gonna try hack me. We're gonna learn something. We're gonna do search, and we're just gonna, you know, do a do a machine on try hack me. You know, just just a typical easy one called agent T right there. You know, just get it, and let's just start the machine. While we do that, we go to access, and we download our configuration file, which is in some folder. Now we're gonna make this window small now and go down, open the terminal, nice and quick. Zoom in. Not sure how to do that. Okay, I tried a little bit in that, so let's see. No. What is this? Advanced. Oh, I need to. Press them. Is there no shortcut for that? That's incredibly weird. So we have this now. MLS, go to downloads. You know, oh, sound is. I don't like the sound. So do we have OpenVPN installed? We do. Let's uh, let's do sudo OpenVPN. And then go to Dan, that's me there, and then I guess that's the password I typed before. And we have initially complete, we can, you know, right click and say new window. And then I need to use this awful menu. That's a thing, and I need to, isn't there a way to do that? Oh. Yeah, I found the reverse one. What about the <laughs> getting small and small? <laughs> okay, let's just not do that anymore. Le oh. Okay, so I want to keep it to one window. Then let's go back and and then find the machine that we have it. And now we're just testing, you know? we're just testing, so we're taking the IP, you know, I'm gonna take this, just copy as regularly, I cannot do regularly copy pasting, I can, yes, so let's do an in-map scan, just casually running in-map on the IP address, and out of the box, everything works, we have a, you know, I, I wouldn't really, you know, using Linus Kaley or using Black Bunto, I, I just use whatever you want. I don't think we need Black Butto. I don't think it's something we miss. It is just there for us to use. I, it's fine, you know, nothing nothing bad. So we can also do ping uh, and we can ping it and everything is good. And then we can take an open new tab, put it in, and we have a web page. Now I tried this be uh, beautiful thing before. I know what this is all about. So let me just um, let me just go ahead and, and, and find the exploit for PHP 8.1 Deo uh, Exploit Anyway, this is not really a video on, on, on exploiting anything, but we're just gonna You know, just gonna try and use this Black Bunto in the same way we would use it if we were to So touch exploit.py Nano, you know, I'm just doing the normal things I'm doing. All right, and then do Python three. I, I haven't really installed anything. I'm gonna enter the full. So let's take the full URL, go back, put it in. That we have it. We're now root, and and somewhere along all of this, it's gonna be a flag file. I don't know where it is anyway. So. The keyboard is not set up properly. That's something that I noticed 
just out the bat. Where is it? Anyways, there we have it. So, and when the top to top HTML, so we can do like ls slash root. We see now things slash root slash uh, tech al. Oh, yeah, this is the dumb shell. Anyways, you know, so let's let's uh, let's clear all this. I don't know what I think about all this. You know, this is just a lot of the color. Let me just close this. Let me just uh, close the machine. So now we tried that. We did our typical thing. We're looking at this console window here. Now I'm not the biggest fan of the dark blue on dark backgrounds because it's difficult to see anything basically. Can we change easily the color, you know? Oh, um, light, and that's gonna give us nothing. Can we just open a new window then? Um, oh my. Where did you go? Oh, you go. <laughs> okay, so I, th I, yeah, it's um, it's quite right. Okay, so let's have a look at the the menu here. We have our typical start button, very Ubuntu-like, you know. I did they did they install our favorite text editor for us? They did give us Firezilla. Okay, so well, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily rate a distribution on what they installed in the software for us. You know, I I just yeah, they have this hardening information. They're working reversion during wireless web. So let's let's do wireless. See, oh, they have the same icons everywhere. And if I click that, what happens? It just opens up a terminal window. I guess that's cheap. <laughs> um, so what if I go to stress testing? It's just a lot of icons. I do UDP flood. Uh, so it opens up a terminal window. Um, That is Bucky. A what? Yeah, it does. It does bark. Okay, so that's kind of weird. I don't know what to say about this. I don't care. Okay, so we have Thor. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so definitely there are some some things that doesn't work quite well. Rhythm box. What in the name of what? I don't know. <laughs> Let me just Ubuntu software. Okay, let's look at, look at that. So let's do rhythm box one more time. Do they have a rhythm for me? No. I don't know. Doesn't work. Software catalog being downloaded. I think this is one of the things that could be a bit better. Yeah, I like this. It's uh, it's quite nice. You know, you can you can log on. Typical, you know, Mac users like their store windows on every Mac computer these days, and you even have have it on Windows with these kind of you know Windows whatever they call it store, but. The thing is, you can just take. I want. I want to have Postman. You click it. You, you say install. You, you type your password. Press enter, and then basically it's being installed. You can see that. You know, it's very intuitively, you know, created for the user. I kind of like that. What I would have liked even more is that they put a bit more. You know, what you can see here is, oh, that's art and design, book and reference development, health and fitness, games, finance. You don't need all that, you know. What you need is a, is a collection of software you can install directly. So what they need to do, if they want to take the market, okay, so Black Boonsu, guys, if you want to take the market, 
you should definitely you know make sure that you have a a a a, a more broad access to different kind of new tools make a portal of something like that for all the new hacking tools that are good that work so <clears throat> get some testers, hire some testers, do something about it, you know, create some courses then on how to use the software, how to customize, do, you know, release videos where famous people using this distribution, because right now I'm basically just looking at, I have Postman in, well, I didn't I, I just install Chains and Pro, did, 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 did that not work? Okay, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> sudo snap install postman. Oh, it is now installed. So I cannot go away from the window. Let's, um, where is it now? Postman. Open it. Let's close this window here and see what's open now. Okay, so we, we did a few things. We installed some software, we tested some things. There's some buggy features and weird links pointing to nothing, you know, just opening a terminal. I don't think that is the way to go, guys. Um, Postman works, so that's fine. Browser works fine, Thor installed. I would say thumbs up for trying the software. I will not convert. I'm gonna use Linux KD. It's um, basically just the way it is. I see no reason for me to use this um, because it's. I, I, I don't really feel it's it's there yet. You know, maybe in the future. There are many different kind of you know Linux distributions that collect hacking tools. You can create your own. You know, you can take any bare bone Ubuntu, and then you know create your own color theme scheme whatever put a background image as default configure some kernel stuff install some things release it upload it create an ISO file and they call you your own distribution you know you can do that but do we need that I don't think so but it's it's a neat thing I tried it I really hope you got something from the video and you learned something from it just want to say until next time please you know consider pressing the like button and then Leave any comment below. I'm gonna return back with a uh, reply pretty fast. Um, I think next video is gonna be even more interesting. So have a really nice day and see you again online.